Another metric used for judging the worth of these various interventions is the odds ratio. Well, to, to have an odds ratio, you need an established injury rate, then you intervene and say if the rate changed. So if you smoke, you have double the risk of getting cancer. Your odds ratio would be two. Got it? In epidemiology, having an odds ratio of two is, is quite spectacular. That's very powerful evidence if you can show you've changed the risk by doubling it. Well, that takes us on to our next study. We've been following 1,300 firefighters in the province of Alberta now for three years. Now, we've got complete fitness data, health and lifestyle, do they smoke, all kinds of things, only on 280 of them. However, we, we now perform exactly the same exercise, and we look to see who got a back injury as one example. Interestingly enough, we saw exactly the same thing in our police studies. The smaller, fitter, primarily men, are the ones who are getting hurt. Notice they had a better movement competency score. Then we went back and we really studied what the injury mechanism was. The back injuries were associated with lifting. The knee injuries were associated with gait patterns running on and off the truck, etc. The shoulder injuries were associated with pushing and pull patterns. And this has huge implications. The evidence suggested that you can change movement patterns and behaviors with exercise. We've established that. You're writing new engrams and coaching good form. But now we have the evidence for using specific screens for specific injuries.